going on guys? My name is Julio from the Berlin News Crew, bringing you a very special update video. BNC is turning three years old, so Alexis asked the members to give our top five movies of all time. The movies I picked aren't necessarily the best movies. The criteria I used to put these movies on my list is how they made me feel the first time I watched them. So this is my list. Okay, so number five, we're gonna start off with a foreign film, Instructions Not Included. And this movie is about the self-discovery of, of somebody becoming a parent, and it, it's a heartwarming film. It's about how a guy didn't believe he could be a father, and then he had to be a father, so he did. This father is afraid of heights. He's stuck in America now with his daughter, so he needs to provide. And it just so happens he's really good at being a stuntman, particularly falling from high places in movies. So he has to get over his fear of, of falling from high places to provide for his daughter. And, and that's the sort of sacrifice that, that really called out to me and made me love this movie. Before I saw that film, I, I don't want to be a dad, but this movie made me want to be a dad. Number four is, is The Theory of Everything, a biographical movie about Stephen Hawking. I love this movie because it was really easy for me to put myself in his position. He likes science, fuck I love science man. He was the top of the class, I'm the top of my class. Eddie Redmayne's acting as Stephen Hawking, oh my god dude. Like, like he, he was Stephen Hawking. And the thing about this movie is even though he's in a wheelchair, he, he's, he can't even move, man. He can't even talk by himself. But that doesn't stop him from being who he wants to be. He still does what he wants to do. He still discovered Hawking radiation, cool stuff like that. But I, I think the thing that I really appreciate about this movie, by the end of the movie, Stephen Hawking, so much has changed about his life. He sort of accepts it and moves on and, and builds on that. I was in a point in my life where, where things were changing and I just didn't know how to accept it. But here he is, he said, okay, this is all my past. We made this and now let's move on. Let's accept it and move on. And that's what I needed. And that's why it earns number three on Julio Dominguez's top five movie extreme list extravaganza deluxe. Okay, so number three is The Nightmare Before Christmas. The way the music complements the aesthetic of the film is, is just superbly brilliant. Tim Burton and Danny Elfman make a fantastic team. And particularly, I love the songs from this film so much. I know every lyric, I know every word. I learned all the chords on the guitar. There's some weird chords there. The Nightmare Before Christmas got me into sound. I wanted to record my covers of the songs. I didn't know how to record it, so I went to the internet, found out how to record, bought a bunch of shit, and I learned how to record, and I hit up Alexis. Hey Alexis, I have some, some microphones. Let's get together. And here we are now, three years later. So we owe this whole BNC 30 year anniversary to the Nightmare Before Christmas. By God. Number two, without a doubt, is Inside Out. The premise is a personification of emotions in your head. That's it. But if you dig in a little deeper, there's these beautiful complexities that I, I appreciate so much. Things like how they explain how our brain works. Like instead of like, oh, having a, a tr going on a train of thought, they have the thought train. Instead of uh, memories being, being like a pattern of impulses through our neurons, they have orbs, memory orbs, and like special, special memories are called core memories. This movie gets number two on my list because it made me cry two times. Bing Bong said the thing, and then it hit me right here, and then things started coming out of here, and then Alexis looked over here and saw me. <sighs> Number one on my top list, without a doubt, absolutely has to be Kingsman The Secret Service. Okay, let me tell you, Kingsman, I wasn't expecting much from it. I saw the trailer, I cringed, it was horseshit. My expectations were low, it was literally like right here. I went because my friends invited me and I like hanging out with my friends. As the movie progressed, I was like, okay, this is pretty good, it's getting pretty good. Oh, oh this, is, this is getting really good. This is, oh my God, this is good. And it's so good, I can't even see the limit on the frame anymore. And like, intensity is high, pressure is up, volume is down. The world is gonna explode unless Eggsy saves the world. How does he save the world? He has to ice fucking Samuel L. Jackson. But first, he has to take out this one bitch with one leg and, and a needle for the other leg. And what he does, he fucking kicks her ass. And one more, he takes her needle leg and then he just chucks it at Samuel L. Jackson. And what he does, he fucking rolled a 20, he crit, Samuel L. Jackson takes 500 piercing damage, Samuel L. Jackson is going down, the world is saved, everything is okay. When, when I first saw that movie, my heart, my heart was pounding so fast. Like it, it was her, I was having a heart attack by how intense this film was. 
And nothing has ever made my heart hurt like that. Like, no exercise, no, like, emotional time in my life. But this movie, like, attacked my heart. So, that's my top five movies. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the other members, other BNC members' top five movie reviews. They're pretty, pretty good. And be sure to uh, join us for the BNC Roundup where we all talk about our favorite movies. It's gonna be a blast. So this is Kool-Aid from the BNC, place for all things movie news and reviews.